Hi, I'm QDC. What we're about to build today is <laughs> Vernon Productions <laughs> Bernard Montgomery, and this is a one fourth scale. The reason why I'm building this particular kit is because of this particular kit that I made previously from another video, uh, the Mini Arts Dingo. As I was doing research about the Battle of El Alamein, I became fascinated by General Bernard Montgomery. And so what happened was that, um, you know, my perceptions about Bernard Montgomery really changed when I've done more research about this particular man. Um, like most people, I thought of Bernard Montgomery as a man who was very stoic um, and hard to work with because many people who worked with um, or served under Bernard Montgomery uh, either liked him or disliked him. And he had a reputation of just you know, having things his own way. But as I was doing research about this man, I found out about him um, from an old interview that was done in the 1960s when he, when, when he became much more older. And when he became older, I guess he uh, became more, for lack of better words, more mild. Uh, in, in, his, in his attitude towards life. He, um, you know, in his interview, he told the, uh, the interviewer that he had um, an abused childhood, that he was beaten by his own mother, um, and, and also he just really was an approachable man. And so I was really fascinated by that, you know, by that interview with uh, of Bernard Montgomery. So that's the reason why I'm building this particular kit. So let's go ahead and start building this kit right now. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have my cat's tail. Sorry, folks. We have the head. the torso and a real marble base. Okay, so it's time for me to paint the figure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of a new thing here. I'm going to uh, build this, uh, excuse me, paint this figure very, very quickly as I normally would do, but I'm going to add a window right around here. And this window is going to um, give you a glimpse of the progress of, of, of what I'm doing during the painting process. So hopefully you get to enjoy that. Yeah, isn't, isn't that right?
The paint is dry and now I'm going to give my model a matte finish. Okay, so we built uh, the model kit and we painted it and now it's time for me to show you the completed figure. Take a look. So here is the completed figure after painting and I think I've done a decent job on the face. Um, he does look nice and even if you look at him in profile, he does look pretty nice too. He does look very convincing like the real Bernard Montgomery. I have to admit something to you. When I first bought this kit, I didn't think that this kit would be that good because the picture um, on the box is awful compared to how I actually painted it. So I am rather pleasantly surprised that this kit turned out to be a lot better than expected. So that completes the model process. Um, what you're going to see is a video slideshow of the entire model kit. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert, I'm just a regular guy just like you. And also I want to add that um, Really, my technique of of um, really just painting figures may be different from the way you would do it. Uh, there are many ways to paint figures, and just because I do things my way doesn't mean that it's right for you. So um, I would really highly encourage anyone who's interested in, in painting figures, um, you know, just to you know, look around the internet and, and see through other people's examples of what you would like to do and try to mimic that. Um, my way might not be the right way for you, but it works for me because this is the way I like to paint figures. And so at the end, uh, excuse me, in this video you are going to see uh, here a speech that was actually done by Bernard Montgomery. And at the end of the, at, and at the, end of the video I'm going to include a, a link to the actual interview of Bernard Montgomery that was taken back sometime in the 1960s. I'm QDC and thanks for watching. Bye bye. On this day of victory in Europe, I feel I would like to speak to all who have served and fought with me during the last few years. What I have to say is very simple and quite short. I would ask you all to remember those of our comrades who fell in the struggle. They gave their lives that others might have freedom and no man can do more than that. I believe that he would say to each one of them, well done, thou good and faithful servant. And we who remain have seen the thing through to the end. We all have a feeling of great joy and thankfulness that we have been preserved to see this day. We must remember to give the praise and thankfulness where it is due. This is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. In the early days of this war, the British Empire stood alone against the combined might of the Axis powers. And during those days, we suffered some great disasters. But we stood firm, on the defensive, but striking blows where we could. Later, we were joined by Russia and America. And from then onwards, the end was in no doubt. Let us never forget what we owe to our Russian and American allies. This great allied team has achieved much 
in war, may it achieve even more in peace. Without doubt, great problems lie ahead. The world will not recover quickly from the upheaval that has taken place. There is much work for each one of us. I would say that we must face up to that work with the same fortitude that we faced up to the worst days of this war. It may be that some difficult times lie ahead for our country and for each one of us personally. If it happens thus, then our discipline will pull us through. But we must remember that the best discipline implies the subordination of self for the benefit of the community. It has been a privilege and an honor to command this great British Empire team in Western Europe. Few commanders can have had such loyal service as you have given me. I thank each one of you from the bottom of my heart. And so, let us embark on what lies ahead, full of joy and optimism. We have won the German war. Let us now win the peace. Good luck to you all, wherever you may be.